Good morning, Mam Tata. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Home Industries Glasscraft Report. My name is Michael Jaikaba. Together with me is Mam Donna Diaz, both from Chateau Negros Oriental, and we are in the second semester of our Mavid course. I will be a reporter this morning. Mam Donna has made all the research in this topic and put it into a presentation. My part was to enhance the visuals for better understanding. So let us begin. The natural glass created by lightning strikes is the first form of glass known to humans. On beaches and sandy deserts, in areas where lightning storms are frequent, there are natural glass formations formed by the high temperature of lightning. Naturally occurring glass, especially the volcanic glass obsidian, has been used by many Stone Age societies across the globe for the production of sharp cutting tools and due to its limited source areas was extensively traded. The first true glass was made in coastal North Syria, Mesopotamia or Egypt around the year 2500 BC. The earliest known glass objects were beads, perhaps initially created as accidental byproducts of metalworking or during the production of faience. Vessels of glass appeared around 1450 BC during the reign of Tutmos III, a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt. In the region of Near East were discovered in the 9th century BC the techniques for making colorless glass. The first glass making manual dates back to circa 650 BC. Instructions on how to make glass are contained in cuneiform tablets discovered in the library of the Assyrian king Ashurbanipal. During the 1st century BC, the Phoenicians discovered the glass blowing technique revolutionizing the industry. Glass vessels were now inexpensive compared to pottery vessels. Growth of the use of glass products occurred throughout the Roman world. The first glass bottles were produced in the Roman Empire in the same period. During the 4th century AD, the first window panes are thought to have been produced. The earliest panes were rough cast into a wooden frame on top of a layer of sand or stone. Glassmaking skills in Europe declined after the 3rd century AD, but Islamic glass continued the achievements of pre Islamic cultures developing a unique expression that was characterized by the introduction of new techniques and the innovation of old traditions. Around 1000 AD, an important technical breakthrough was made in Northern Europe when soda glass, produced from white pebbles and burnt vegetation, was replaced by glass made from a much more readily available material, potash, obtained from wood ashes. From this point on, Northern glass differed significantly from that made in the Mediterranean area, where soda remained in common use. Until the 12th century, stained glass, glass to which metallic or other impurities had been added for coloring, was not widely used, but it rapidly became an important medium for Romanesque art and especially Gothic art. Almost all survivals are in church buildings but it was also used in grand secular buildings. The first eyeglasses were made in northern Italy, most likely in Pisa, by about 1290. In 1500s, a method of making mirrors out of plate glass was developed by Venetian glassmakers on the island of Murano, who covered the back of the glass with a mercury tin amalgam, obtaining near-perfect and undistorted reflection. The earliest known telescope appeared in 1608 in the Netherlands, when an eyeglass maker named Hans Lippershey tried to obtain a patent on one. Although Lippershey did not receive his patent, news of the invention soon spread across Europe. Galileo improved on this design the following year and applied it to astronomy. A very important advance in glass manufacture was the technique of adding lead oxide to the molten glass. This improved the appearance of the glass and made it easier to melt using sea cold as a furnace fuel. This technique also increased the working period of the glass, making it easier to manipulate. 
The process was first discovered by George Ravenscroft in 1674, who was the first to produce clear lead crystal glassware on an industrial scale. The development of systematic quantitative chemical analysis in 1808 by Jons Jacob Berzelius, followed by chemical formulas and chemical equations, contributed a great deal to the establishment of large-scale industrial supply of purified raw materials. In 1835, German chemist Justus von Liebig developed a process for applying a thin layer of metallic silver to one side of a pane of clear glass. This technique was soon adapted and improved upon, allowing for the mass production of mirrors. The use of glass as a building material was heralded by the Crystal Palace of 1851, built by Joseph Paxton to house the Great Exhibition. François Barthélemy Alfred Royer invented the tempered glass by quenching almost molten glass in a heated bath of oil or grease in 1874. In 1887, the mass production of glass was developed by the firm Ashley in Castleford, Yorkshire. The semi-automatic process used machines that were capable of producing 200 standardized bottles per hour, many times quicker than the traditional methods of manufacture. In 1903, Edward Benedictus, a French chemist, accidentally invented the bulletproof glass. The Bolly Building, built in 1909 in Kansas City, Missouri, is considered as the first metal and glass curtain wall building in the world. It was followed by the Halliday Building, built in 1918 in San Francisco. Between 1953 and 1957, Sir Alistair Pilkington developed the revolutionary flood glass process, the first successful commercial application for forming a continuous ribbon of glass using a molten thin bat, on which the molten glass flows unhindered under the influence of gravity. Modern windows are made from flood glass. In 1984, the first fluoride glass was discovered at the University of Rennes in France. Fluoride glass is a type of low dispersion glass. Optical groups made with low dispersion glass have a very low dispersion or color spreading, so optical groups made with fluoride elements exhibit less chromatic aberration than those utilizing the traditional flint glass. In 2014, researchers used lasers to create an analog of nacre by engraving networks of wavy 3D microcracks in glass microscope slides. When the slides were subjected to an impact, the microcracks absorbed and dispersed the energy, keeping the glass from shattering. There are four types of glass, namely annealed glass, heat strengthened glass, tempered or toughened glass, and the last one, the laminated glass. Annealed glass is a basic product formed from the annealing stage of the float process. The molten glass is allowed to cool slowly in a controlled way until it reaches room temperature, relieving any internal stresses in the glass. Without this controlled slow cooling, glass would crack with relatively little change in temperature or slight mechanical shock. Annealed glass is used as a base product to form more advanced glass types. Heat strengthened glass. Heat strengthened glass is semi-tempered or semi-toughened glass. The heat strengthening process involves heating annealed glass back up to about 650 to 700 degrees Celsius and then cooling it quickly, although not as fast as with toughened glass. The heat strengthening process increases the mechanical and thermal strength of annealed glass, making it twice as tough as annealed glass. When it breaks, the fragments are similar in size to annealed glass, but with a greater likelihood of staying together. This glass is not often used in balustrades or similar structural applications because of its limited strength compared to tempered or toughened glass, although it is sometimes specified when there is concern about tempered glass fracturing into thousands of small pieces. Tempered or toughened glass. 
This is the most common types of glass used in balustrades or similar structural applications. Annealed glass is heated to about 700 degrees Celsius by conduction, convection, and radiation. The cooling process is accelerated by a uniform and simultaneous blast of air on both surfaces. The different cooling rates between the surface and the inside of the glass produces different physical properties, resulting in comprehensive stresses in the surface balance by tensile stresses in the body of the glass. This process makes the glass 4 to 5 times stronger and safer than annealed or untreated glass. Laminated glass. Any one of the above types of glass can be laminated. The most commonly used finished product is two sheets of toughened glass laminated together with a 1.52 mm thick polyvinyl butyral or PVB interlayer. Laminated glass offers many advantages. Safety and security are the best known of this. So rather than shattering an impact, the laminated glass is held together by interlayer. This reduces the safety hazard associated with the shattered fragments, as well as, to some degree, the security risk associated with easy penetration. The uses of glass. Glass is an unlimited and innovative material that has plenty of applications. It is essential component of numerous products that we use every day, most often without noticing it. It is clear that modern life would not be possible without glass. Glass is used in the following non-exhaustive list of products. Packaging, tableware, housing and buildings, interior design and furnitures, appliances and electronics, automotive and transport, medical technology, biotechnology, life science engineering, optical glass, radiation protection from x-rays and gamma, gamma rays, fiber optic cables, and renewable energy. Examples of glass craft. Glass candle holder glass craft. This is a great glass craft that can be done easily at home. The glass is overturned and the top is used as a candle holder. Fill the bottom with colored sand and add some shells as well as to decorate it. Stained glass paint glass craft. Let canisters and bottles look gorgeous with this stained glass craft. Here, the bottles are dried and then painted with stained glass colors. Use colors that feel like the oceans for a nice Mediterranean feel. Glass chime glass craft. This exotic looking glass chime may be complex to create, but the result is just stunning. This glass bottle crafts uses cut pieces of bottles that are linked together with wire and then placed on a loop. The end of the chime are dangling pieces of colored glasses. Glass piece bowls glass craft. Make this stunning glass piece bowl as a souvenir or a present to someone. These glass bottle craft ideas are perfect to use up glass pieces that are colored and look nice. You need to stick them with strong glue to hold its shape. Sea glass lantern craft. This sea glass lantern is a unique way of using up sea glass collected from the beach. You do not need to use any craft paint for glass here as the sea glass is colored indeed. The collection looks great inside the lantern and when lit up brightens the room. Hand painted glass craft. These wonderful glasses are painted by hand and form a nice kitchen set. The plastic glass craft can be fun for all when you have right tools. Use nice colors and wonderful patterns to do the glasses. If you are good in painting, then this one will be a nice idea, sure. Glass ornaments as a craft. Make Christmas bright and merry with these gorgeous glass ornaments. These beach glass crafts use up the beach glass that is found to make Christmas tree ornaments. You can go creative and make several other types of ornaments. Girls' kids can try these glass craft ideas in their school in craft period. Tissue paper glass craft. 
This stained glass tissue paper cross is made by sticking together colored tissue paper onto a transparent paper. The result is paper glass craft that looks good when placed on the window. When light passes through it, it gives a stained glass window effect. If you want to make simple craft, then this one will be a good choice always. Glass crafts turn ordinary glass into fantastic objects. You can do many things with beach glass, wine glass, and others. You can make raw materials of glasses to make good crafts. We can look this glass craft in business manner too. Handmade glass in demand nowadays. You can sell your personalized glass craft in an online store. It helps to give your idea in action. The next video clip will show us the different do-it-yourself glass craft.
set my wheels in motion I'm going crazy for you Eyes blue like the ocean So that ends our report. With me is Mam Donna Diaz Francisco. Thank you and God bless everyone.